Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Um, so in this video, I think what I'm going to do is see if I can start getting some paint on the inside of this thing. Um, yeah, first thing I'm going to do now though is do some seam sealer on the inside. Never done it before. I'm going to see how it goes. Could be a pain in the ass. Probably is. Um, but I'm going to do the interior and then I'm going to do inside the trunk. I got it all uh, cleaned up and prepped. Um, did my rust conversion on some stuff. Did one little coat of uh, ow. Um, rust reformer on there. Got everything kind of prepped and ready to go for um, what I need to do on seam sealer. So you can see up there. I can see. Um, yeah. But uh, yeah, that's where I'm at. So I'm going to do that right now. And then, yeah, we'll get everything cleaned up. I was, I guess there's two schools of thought for seam sealer. I've seen guys say, well, you do it, well, you do it first before you paint, because it's, you paint right over it, or you do it, you paint, you do a primer first, then you paint over it. Or the primer first, seam seal, then paint. That way you have paint in all the seams, but um, everything I've done so far, I got thinking about it. Um, I've done like a rust, or that weld through primer on all my joints and stuff where I've actually joined metal together where the seam sealer goes. So I'm just gonna do my seam sealer. Um, there's already paint behind it. And then, uh, yeah, I'll get the show on the road. That way I can seam seal it, it. I think you can paint over it within 30 minutes. And by that time, it'll be time I get set up and ready. It'll be dry enough so I can uh, probably put start putting some primer on. I'm gonna tape off. Yeah, I do some taping first, but while that's, you know, setting up, um, I'll do some taping and yeah, we'll see how that goes. My first time doing this kind of stuff, so I'm sure I'll miss something or screw something up, but we'll see. All right. Well, it's been well, a couple hours now. Um, I got all my stuff seam sealed, as you can see. Um, it's all dried. Feels good. Um, yeah, that was the... What I'm using is this stuff, Dynapro Seam Sealer Gray. Um, yeah, goes on nice. You just have to put the brush on seam sealer. I used it in here. I have both like in a caulking tube as well, that style. Um, but it's tough to, you know, it's a really tight area to get in with a caulking gun. Um, so yeah, brush on works great. I'm just using these little brushes I got at Home Hardware. <laughs> Acid brushes. Same with these for plumbing stuff. Um, went on great. The inside, I was able to use the one with the caulking tube. You can see all the, it's black in color, so. Um, yeah, I think I got all my seams. If not, you know, that's okay too. I can, if I see a hole later on, I can get it done. Not a big deal. After I read the label on the Dynapro, um, it said probably don't use it in your cab because it's got a um, strong smell to it, but yeah. Well, a little too late now, but whatever. Um, I'm sure it'll be fine. It'll be uh, well gassed by the time I uh, um, get to driving this thing. Um, yeah, next step is I'm going to do my final clean. Uh, make sure all my... I'm happy with my scuffing on my panels. I think paint's going to stick to it. Um, yeah, and then I'm going to attempt to, well, I gotta tape off some areas I don't want paint on. Um, yeah, then I'm gonna start uh, painting. Crazy. Okay, I'll bring it back when that happens. All right, so I've got everything um, ready, I think, to start painting. Uh, so my first time using any this gun, let alone any gun, um, so I'm just gonna give it a shot um, just to s figure out how it works. Um, like many people, I've just, uh, watched a lot of YouTube. I get the basic idea, but this gun's a little different than anything else. It's one of the 15 to $40 ones at Princess Auto. Um, just doing a trim clad red oxide primer on the inside. Um, I didn't thin it, which I think may be a mistake, but I'm going to try it out and see what happens. Um, I don't know what it's supposed to look like. Like it says on the, I thought maybe on the can it would say something. 
but uh, it didn't. So I'm just gonna let you watch here and uh, see what happens. It's got my paper set up. I'm just gonna test it out. All right. Um, yeah, I have no idea what's going to happen. I have no idea. Um, there's not much paint coming out. I wonder if it is, and it looks like it's kind of spitting a little bit, but it doesn't matter what setting I put on here, it doesn't seem to want to work. So I think I'm going to have to thin it down a bit. Um, okay, I'm going to do that and we're going to try again. Okay, so I thinned it a little bit. Let's see what happens. Well, I think uh, it's all right. Let's take a look. So it's everything's still wet. Um, your light's starting to die too. But um, yeah, I feel like it went on pretty good. Um, yeah, this is. I've never used any type of spray gun like this before. Um, so yeah, much like welding. I've come to find over the last five minutes. The more you do it, I'm sure the better at it you get. Um, yeah, it doesn't look bad in here at all. I'm just gonna do everything a flat black inside too. I'm gonna do one more coat. That took a whole quart. So I didn't think that was too bad. There's lots of nooks and crannies to get at. Um, yeah, I think it looked pretty good. What I was doing on this paper um, I didn't realize because I'd never used any gun before, which now I know. I wasn't pushing the trigger down all the way, so I wasn't getting any paint. I was just doing a little trigger pull. You have to pull it down all the way and then adjust it, and then I wasn't doing that. So, um, yeah, but here we are. So, all primered up. What the hell's that? There's a chunk of something on there. 
But yeah, it looks pretty good. I got it covered well. I'm happy with the spray gun. Once you got going, it wasn't that hard. Um, now, mind you, no one's going to see this ever. So um, I, when it comes to the outside finish, it's going to be a little bit different. But I'm pretty happy with the way that looks right now. Um, I, I was trying not to do any runs just to kind of practice, you know, technique a little bit. It's tough when everything's different height. Um, yeah, I got one little run right there, but that's about it. All I can find, my vertical panel here looks good. There's no runs. There's a few heavy spots I adjusted part way through. Um, let's see what it would do. Um, yeah, pretty happy with that. So, I'm going to let that sit. This stuff has to cure for a while. Um, it says 24 hours, so I'm going to leave it for today. Um, and I'm going to, I gotta clean my gun, but I'm going to, uh, spray flat black on it tomorrow, um, and get that all done with, so. All right, we'll see you then. Okay, well, it's a day later. Um, yeah, everything's still, everything's dry. Um, it's, well, yeah, it's been about 24 hours. I can see a few, I missed a few spots. I've learned some things since yesterday. Um about how I'm going to paint it today. I'm going to start on, actually in the trunk area, I missed a few spots, so um, same thing underneath on the low areas. You can see I missed right there, um, which is you know, hard to see while you're in there standing up. So, But I'll just pay attention, a little better attention today, and see everything looks. Everything looks good. It's dry. I gave it a wipe with a tack cloth before I do it. Today, that's done already, so I'm just ready to mix my paint. So yesterday, it was pretty thick going on. Um, and so, I should have done this before I started painting, but uh, I went on the old internet on YouTube and uh, figured out what I did wrong. A lot of, instead of just reading the can, which I thought would have been appropriate, I, uh, I found out that it has to be mixed. So one guy said four to three, and another guy said uh, three to one was good, or two to one was okay with acetone. Um, I don't have a four to three on my mixing thing, so I think I'm just gonna go uh, two to one. No, I'll go three to one. We'll see how that looks, and I can always add more. Um, if I don't like it, um, I'm going to use the whole quart. I'm just going to mix it all. Um, so I went through it pretty quick yesterday. Um, found out that I had my gun not quite set up right. So, yeah, I've learned a lot since yesterday. My pressure was wrong, too, so that was good. Um, yeah, this is what I'm using again, this Tremclad Flat Black. For those in the States, it's Rust-Oleum. In Canada, we call it Trem Clad for some reason. Um, same stuff. But yeah, you can see it's pretty thick. I'm surprised it sprayed as well as it did yesterday. Um, it was a 1.8 millimeter tip, so it's made for spraying some thicker stuff. It's primer gun. Um, yeah, I'm going to try it again today. Get this all set up, and I'll bring you back around once everything's mixed. Okay, so I've got my gun all assembled. Um, yeah, I didn't go through my setup here. As you can see, I got the garage all plastic off, which is nice. Um, kind of keeps the smell away from the house. Um, but yeah, my compressor I've just got in here. Um, it's 20 gallon. Seems it held up fine yesterday, so I'm hoping it'll do all right. I've got a little Princess Auto dryer on it. Um, it's got a filter and a desiccant inside to absorb any moisture. Um, I'm also running it through, that's 50 feet on that roll, and that's, I think, 100 feet on that line. Um, just so if there is any moisture in the line, it'll settle in the line before it gets to my gun. Um, and I'm not sure how well that desiccant works, actually. So, um, And I've got a moisture filter on my gun here. Um, yeah, this is the cheapy, I believe it's a vapor, yep, from Princess Auto. Um, 
yeah, worked all right yesterday. I'm just going to throw a little acetone in it and um, just to kind of clear it out, just make sure there's no little paint particles in there still. Cleaned it out fairly well yesterday, so. Um, and I still got to mix my paint. And once I, I'll come back when I'm going to mix that. Okay, so. Almost had a bit of a moment there. I forgot to, there's a spring that's supposed to go back behind this. I didn't put it in and I didn't know where it went for about 10 minutes and I finally found it, so that's good. Um, but as you can see, I got my paint in my bucket here. So I'm doing three to one. Um, oh yeah, don't stir, resist the urge to stir it before you mix it. You'll stand here waiting for the air compressor to shut off. And I stirred it and then I lost where my line was because it went up the edges. So don't do that. <laughs> Um, so I'm about four and a half. So I want to go up to, I'm doing three to one, so I want to go up to about four and a half there. And that should be, give me a three to one mix. There we go. That's about right. Now you can stir it. Make sure you get all the way down to the bottom. Boy, it looks thin now, doesn't it? Hmm. hmm. Almost looks too thin. I don't know. Maybe I screwed this whole thing up. I'll give it a shot. <laughs> See how it goes. Yeah, it's way thinner than it was. To me, I'm, being that I have no experience in this either, I'm constantly second-guessing myself whether this is right or not, but I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I'll try a couple on my test paper over there, and I'm going to keep mixing this for a little bit, and I'll get you set up to watch. Okay, well, got it all set up. I'm going to see how it goes. Wish me luck. give it a go here. Get over so I can see. I'm going to start on the back sides over here. And let's see if you can see me from there. Get all set up here. Okay. Flat black, so it'll uh, um, yeah, it'll dull up. The trunk's starting to dull already. Um, a few touch-up spots, but looks all right. Uh, yeah, pretty happy with how that turned out. Uh, it's 
spray gun worked a lot better this time. Now, now you can see it's starting to dull up a little bit. Yeah, it looks really good. I like that flat black. Um, yeah, the spray gun worked way better with it being thinned like that. Um, I think it started off, there must have been a chunk of something. I must not have cleaned it well enough yesterday because it was kind of like ch -ch 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 doing this. I don't know why. Um, but it didn't seem to affect the quality at all. Like, let's get real. I'm just painting the end. The reason I'm painting going to so much effort for the inside of this is I'm just, I've never done it before, so I really want to practice doing this painting thing. So I'm going to paint the car myself, which is going to be something. Um, yeah, that's it. So I think um, I'll end off this video right here. Yeah, that's enough, I think. Yeah, interior's painted. Um, I've started seam sealing and stuff on the bottom. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do is get the bottom in primer. Um, yeah, I'll get the bottom all in primer and then I'll paint the bottom and the engine bay and anything else that's going to be underneath um, body panels and stuff like that. I just want to get the bottom done that way I can get it off the rotisserie and start, you know, on the real body work. Um, but yeah, we'll see. Anyways, thanks for watching and if you enjoyed this please feel free to subscribe. Um, yeah, we'll see you next time.